So, uh, what can we expect from these fallen angels for this season? Um, well, the angels that fall have uh, full angel powers, but they don't have their wings. So, the only angel speciality is they can teleport. Other than that, they can do all their, their angel stuff. They can smite, they can heal. The things we've come to know from angels. Um, but there are different factions of angels because every angel fell. Um, some desperately want to get back into heaven. Some are trying to find a place on earth. Um, so there's battles, there are wiggly battles amongst the angels. Um, it's also sort of true with uh, the demon population who are probably missing. Um, filling that void and then wanting to get back to be the king of hell. So there's a lot of demon on demon stuff and angel on angel stuff and the boys are kind of caught in the middle of it. As far as the angels are concerned, is it um, will we maybe see some previously deceased characters come back as angels or angels that we've seen before back on earth? Um, yeah, I think we will. I'm not sure. Who? I mean, I know there are angels that we really liked. Uh, you know, we killed Alfie, but he was a, a really cool character. Um, we killed Naomi. <laughs> there was a lot of killing. Um, but yes, I think we will reintroduce the, you know, reintroduce some angels. Richard Spate Jr. would definitely like to come back as Gabriel, and we'd definitely like to see him back as Gabriel. Uh, we, and we would love to have him. What can you tell us um, about when we're going to see Metatron and what he might be doing up there in heaven now that all the angels are gone? Um, I think we will probably see Metatron somewhere near our halfway mark. Um, I can tell you that while he exacted his revenge, he's finding it a little lonely up there. Um, I don't think it's quite where he... I don't think he thought it through quite this far <laughs> as, as he might have. Um, you know, and there are non-angels up there, there are all the souls that are risen, that are risen to heaven, and he doesn't really have anybody up there to you know, keep the electricity in it. So, um, so he'll have his plans, and they'll play more heavily in the second half of the season than the first. Since, uh, speaking of the souls that are up there in heaven, since it hasn't been said that Jim Beaver is coming back, is there anything more you can say about his return to the show and when you might expect it or what the circumstances are? He will be back um, very early in the season. He comes back in a way that I think is unexpected, and that's a spoiler, but um, it's, not, uh, it's not in a traditional way. Are there going to be any other cool like weapons that are going to show up? You guys had like the cult, and you had like the, the, the blade used for the angels. Are we going to get to see any cool kind of things? We haven't really developed anything you know, new yet. Uh, you know, the demon blade and the angel blade are sort of a utility. Um, who has those weapons and who can procure those weapons is sort of more interest to us than, you know, I mean, those are... Those are their own little atomic bombs in their own way, so having one is, is more of a big deal than using a new one. Really. So Felicia Day is going to be coming back as Charlie. Will she be back early in the season, and how often will we maybe see her come up? She will be back in episode four, um, and we'll make a couple of appearances after that, but we're really, you know, we're not that far down the line yet, but for sure in four. With the focus being on angel, the angels and the demons all coming to earth and everything, can we expect any other supernatural creatures that you can talk about? Like some new ones um, well, you know, again, we're, we're just sort of starting. I mean, we, we're not going to uh, abandon our, our core storytelling. You know, when we, when we lay a season out, we earmark a certain amount of episodes that are pure myth and then standalones which give nods to the myth so that the myth you know, keeps progressing and we move the ball a little bit down the road and then we do our myth stories much more than a lot down the road. Um, but no, we have some interesting um, 
There's some interesting storylines. We're doing an episode that, for the moment, we're calling Dr. Dean Little, in which he actually can talk to animals. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you know, we're, we're going to be supernatural without a couple of really goofy ones. <laughs> we plan to do this. There's always a lot of conflict going on uh, between the brothers, between Dean and Cass. Is that going to be continuing this coming season? Always. Drama is conflict. Um, and, you know, they're... Their relationship, even after eight years, is really complicated, and uh, they have their ups and downs. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, they always come together. But uh, actually, with with the brothers and with Cass, there's a, a lot of conflict. Uh, this is probably our most character-driven season. Is the story of the tablets done, or are the ta will the tablets kind of continue through this next season? Um, we're not quite done with the tablets. Um, there may be a new tablet up there, <laughs> rears its head. So yeah, that's kind of a, we'll, we'll pay all that. Off.